What factors did you come up with? I thought age might be one. Yeah, definitely. Age is a really important factor, so obviously the older the sports person is, the more susceptible they might be to get an injury. And as a result, we might want to charge them a higher premium to reflect that risk. Also, what kind of sport they play, like if it's a, you know, a rugby player, then they're more likely to get injured. Yeah, so that, that's really important. So think about whether the sport is a contact or non-contact sport. So something like tennis, fairly safe, chances of getting an injury are probably fairly less than a footballer who could be getting, having a risk of getting tackled in every single game. So we might want to consider charging someone which plays a contact sport a higher premium than someone else. Any more? Like health in general, if they may have been injured previously, like recently or something like that. So that's a really important one. So obviously if the sports stars had lots of injuries in the past, this might make them more likely to get an injury in future. So we might want to use that to inform our decision about how much we charge them. So there's lots of factors which go into calculating the cost of the premium. So some of them, for example, are what other hobbies do the sports star do? Do they do anything dangerous? So for example, are they a skydiver? These are all sort of other dangerous sporting activities that they could get injured in, and that would make them then unable to play their sport. We might also want to consider how regularly they play their sport. So for example, a footballer who might play a couple of games of football a week is therefore exposed to a much greater risk of getting an injury than someone, say, like a cyclist who might only compete in a few tournaments a year. As an actuary, what we do is we try to gather all the information as possible and then we use maths and statistics to look at it all, break it down and then use that information to determine how much we should actually charge. So as you've probably seen from our discussion, there's lots of risk and lots of uncertainty involved and a lot of the time we have to use our judgement to actually make a final decision on what that premium should be. But certainly for a contract of this size, the sports star can expect to pay within the millions of pounds. Whoa. So. <laughs> A lot of money involved. <laughs> <laughs>